Hello and welcome back. This is David from the Personal Finance Squad. We just finished exercise 18 where we went through the build out of the budget. All the expenses and the income. Is there a zero balance? That's the question. When you start a budget, you should have a zero balance. And that means when we got to the last part of this exercise there, was there money left over in the spending item? And the answer was yes or no. You need to figure that out. But that was very important to make sure that there's money in the spend for your livelihood because you've earned it. So that's called paying yourself back as we've been saying through all of our videos and the book material. So now we need to get into some mop up items here. And in exercise 19, we talk about the supplemental spreadsheet. Now the spreadsheet is built in with the budget template right next to it in the sheet next door to it is that actual grid. It's pre-filled out with some items and the calculations in there for you. And you can see below right here that there's some items in here is a base example when we took a snippet and we talked about emergency savings miscellaneous and we a couple utilities but you'll certainly have more and so as you've built yours out you should have ran your 12 month budget exercises to determine if you need upfront cash for those particular expenses and if you look down here a little bit further you can see this is another piece that we stripped out of the book and we can see that in the case of Jasper here was all the items that needed upfront cash and we just put them in blue there as an example as a reminder when you, when you start the budget you wouldn't do this on a regular basis this is just for instructional purposes only but this is something that you need to consider so that when you figure out all of the money here that you were, you started with a five thousand dollar balance so how much money is coming off here of this five thousand dollars and there's other items you need to look at in the budget that did you have to spend any money on that might take away from this five thousand dollars Okay, so this is really simplistic. There's not much to this exercise. You should just start filling out anything with added cash right to these items in here. Now, you can either say, I'm gonna keep just one category here and say, I'm gonna strip out all the months and just, just keep one line item and say, this is just my current total. You could just add it up all the time. Or some people like to see it build out over the course of a year to see maybe if you've met those goals. So right here you see January, February and March and it, it simulates it would go all the way out to December and then your running total would add up so if you had 13 here 13 here and 13 here this total would be 39 at that point in time so that's gonna end it for this video just go fill those columns out and then being that these sheets are next door to each other when you run this in real life you'll be able to manage your money more effectively because you're in the same window Okay, so thanks for joining and we will see you in the next video when we get into the budget after three years time.